How's it feel, Jeff? Oh, it feels amazing. I feel, feel on cloud nine at the moment. I feel a bit tired, a bit bruised, but I feel like a winner. <laughs> you are one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, um, you... Hold on, please. Microphone. Oh. Jeff, congrats, mate. Uh, look a million bucks, by Thanks the way. <laughs> Mate, you really pressed the issue from the very moment the fight started. Um, we were trying to guess what your game plan was, but um, just take us through those first couple of rounds, how you felt out there, how you got into your work, and um, how you just adapted to Manny. No, I just felt like he, he couldn't get a hold of my gap and um, I was fainting a lot, trying to upset his rhythm, and I think that was working throughout the majority of that fight. Hey, Jeff. You didn't seem at all overawed by the occasion. Just how did you mentally deal with such a huge cry? Look, I, I feel like I perform like much better in front of a crowd. And I don't know why. I don't know. I'm just wired that way. If no one's there, I usually just don't try very hard. But the more people you have in the ring, even if I'm just sparring and it's not competitive, I just still perform a lot better. I usually have a really bad last spar, but I had about. The whole gym was packed on the day and I had a real good last pass, so it's just going to be 10 times better when I have 50,000 people there cheering me on. Uh, Jeff, congratulations. Um, just take us through those moments, I think it was in the ninth round, uh, probably during the first struggle, it was a really tough moment for the fight, and what, was, what kept you going? When, when the Look, that was just, I guess, my heart just kept me going, I was just like, yeah, he got me with a couple of good shots in that round, and. I did go back probably more in that round than any other round of the fight, but I still felt good. Um, a bit blur in that right eye. I don't know if it was a head clash or it was a punch. Um, but I came back in the 10th, 11th, and 12th. So what did the... Uh, Don, hold on, please. Sorry. Oh. So what did Glenn say to you after the rocky uh, ninth round, who they rocky in, in 10th round? Yep, so he let me know that uh, we lost that round and, and Manny, Manny won that one and the ref then came over and said, um, show me something or else I'm going to stop the fight. We're like, hey, hey, hold on, hold your horses. We're, we're not that bad. We can keep going for sure. And somebody remarked that you, you undid the tape yourself three or four times so you could get a respite. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. It's a good magic trick if I could do that. I'm good at magic, not that good. <laughs> A bit hard with a boxing club on to do something like that. The referee actually asked me, do you want me to stop the fight at the end of the ninth round? But I said, no way. I said, no, no I know Jeff, no way. We were, I knew that give him a minute to clear his head, he was good to go again. Yeah, uh, questions for yourself. You, um, you came under you know, a bit of scrutiny over the course of this week leading into the fight. Um, how vindicated do you feel right now? Well, you know, we always said we would shock the world today. And I said uh, yesterday, I said today would be Sunday, bloody Sunday. Uh, and I just knew, I just knew, I could see, see in my own, mind's eye that this was going to be a war. And, and we kept saying that. We said this is going to be a war. I mean, Freddie Roach mentioned I thought it would be an early day. And I said, no way, this fight's going to go deep. This is going to be deep. And this is, is going to be a test of spirit. And the two warriors out there, you know, many fought it out right to the end. He tried his hardest, but Jeff was just a young lion, as we said. He was hungry, he was skillful. He wasn't just, people thought, oh yeah, he's just a, a Ricky Atten, he's just gonna come in and try and bully him. You know, we had, as you know, a 10 point plan. We stuck to that plan, we went through it carefully, what we had to do, uh, it worked. You know, we just had to execute well on the day. And there's nobody better that I know of that can execute a plan than Jeff Horn really execute a plan. It was tough. I mean, every round I was I was putting adrenaline on that eye. Every round I knew if the blood started to run into his eye, we're in trouble. So I was mindful that we had to contain that. That's a pretty nasty cut. So, you know, these things come out of left field. They try to derail you, but we weren't going to be denied today. Uh, neither Jeff nor I were going to be denied. We come here to win. We can come here to put up a good fight. I know that Bob had said, you know, even if you put up a good fight, we'll still be big in the US. I, I, whilst I respect Bob for that, I can tell you there is no way we just come here to put up a good fight. We came here to win. Oh, we did win. Yeah! 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 Congratulations, Jeff Walker. Congratulations, Glenn. Um, can you just talk about you know, Manny Pacquiao's speed and power? Uh, 
Uh, look, he was quick when he put the combinations together, but I felt like the gap, uh, controlling that gap, that distance, it really made it a lot easier to see his punches coming and I could easily just step back and, and dodge a few of them and then counter him, counter him with my own. So uh, that aspect, which is just the size difference of both of us, was a big advantage. Uh, Jeff, can you comment on uh, a couple of things? Firstly, uh, the 117 to 111, uh, 111, one count, 115 to 113, and, and again, 115, 113 to your Were you surprised by the, the, the margin of victory for you, uh, according to the judges? Uh, no, not really. I wasn't really surprised. I was going back to the corner, and um, the guys were letting me know that I was probably winning the majority of the rounds, but obviously, he's champion. He's Got to edge some close rounds, and um, I, I was happy that I won the fight. I'm just stoked that I won it, especially unanimously. And two of the judges scored 115 to 113, which means seven to five. You can't go closer than that. One fighter they gave they gave Jeff seven rounds. They gave Manny five rounds. If you change one round, it's a draw. Now that you are the title holder, is uh, defending your title versus being a Canadian man, or you're gonna prefer to defend Canadian man? I don't know. Um, I'd rather, I guess, if we can draw the fights over here and have them in Australia and have some big fights and make it alive over here again. Uh, boxing. So yeah. We get to come to the big old events to kind of arrange and see what's worth worth doing. And us. obviously, um, the government in Australia behind us. But maybe down the road it would be nice for you to fight in Las oh, Vegas yeah, or Madison Square It's always a dream to, to fight in Vegas. <laughs> that's for sure. yeah. Jeff, do you think that now that um, you've won this fight, the kids at school will start listening to you now? <laughs> <laughs> probably not, unfortunately. <laughs> no, hopefully that does um, earn some respect for the kids yeah. and hopefully they listen a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> I blame um, Freddie a few issues with the, your hand racks earlier before the fight and then you mentioned the book to Ben Dame that he felt you guys didn't show them enough respect during the week. What did you make of that sort of uh, goings on pre-fight? Well, you know, again, uh, for some reason, Freddie, you know, didn't like the colour of the tape. You know, he, he <laughs> said it's brown, it's got to be white. And I said it's, hang on, it's fabric tape. I mean, it's fabric tape is like fabric tape. Well, what does it matter what colour it is? And he, the WBO official didn't seem to have a problem with the colour, but Freddie did. And I said, Freddie, no problem. Use white tape if it's, it's really concerning you. The colour of the tape, we'll use white tape. So he brought his tape in. I said, okay, happy to use that. We did use that. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm not going to let anyone derail me. You know, there's no way anyone's going to derail Jeff or I and say anything at all that will upset me. You know, we're both in the zone here. We had a job to do. So, if that's the way. I thought they were a little disrespectful when they were saying things like Justin Fortune said yesterday that the only way Manny Pacquiao could lose his fight is if he tripped on the way to the ring. That's a little disrespectful. Well, that's because he's Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I thought that was a good, Freddie was, has always been very good to me. Um, had no problems with him, nor Manny. I think Manny's a legend. I still do. He fought his heart out today. You can never ask for more than that. Um, yeah, a couple of things happened. I mean, saying that they thought it would be early, I thought, no way. I just, I've, I've visualised this fight over in my mind many times. We've, we've gone over the strategy. As I said, you plan the work, you work the plan. We did that to perfection. Jeff executed uh, beautifully today. And it just went pretty much exactly how I thought it would go. Going into the 11th round, I said to Jeff, this fight's close. Either you're in front or it's five all. I said to you either you're in front, round, uh, in front by one round or it's five all, it's close. We really need to bring it home hard here, Jeff. And I thought Jeff won the last two rounds. So I was confident that we had the fight. I thought we've got the fight. There's not going to be a lot in it. There'll be one or two points, a couple of points, mate. You know, there won't be a lot in it. But I was really confident we'd done enough to win the fight. And uh, thankfully the judges saw it the same way I did. Judge, do you have the scorecards? Do you have the scorecards? Who? Paco. Good. You don't have to speculate on the judges. I think it was 215 to 113. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit wider. I know the one judge was American.
we hold on. The other two I, I, I'm not sure. I looked at them uh, some time ago, but they went from the Philippines, I know that. All right. The first judge, uh, the one that had one had it out, 117 to 113, 117 to 111. Uh, that was Rodan, he's the uh, Argentine. Yeah. And Flores had it uh, 113 to 115, and you're quite correct, he scored both the last two rounds for Jeff. And uh, Ramon Serdan uh, had 113 and 115, but he scored the 11th round for Manny and the 12th round for Jeff, but the scores came out the same. And where is he from? Uh, I don't know, where is Sir Dan from, Papa? Where? Sir Dan.